now the one that's been around for such a long time, since uh, the mid-90s. And then we're going to take a look at the new generation. So here's my agenda for today. Uh, a little bit about history of where doors come from, uh, the architecture of how doors work currently. Then we're going to take a look at the interface, some workflow, and data access. And then we're going to look at the thin client of the doors product, which is called Doors Web Access, and see how that works. Take a look at it and how the workflow and you can access data through that. Then we're going to get down to Doors Next Generation, which also has a thick client and a thin client. And this product's built on Jazz. Uh, and I'm going to give you some more information about Jazz. So basically, we're going to go through both of the products, looking at what they look like, and see how they access data in different ways. So, um, and then at the end, I'm going to give you a, uh, a comparison table of what does what, which uh, should be helpful. Okay, so that's what the plan is for today. So a little bit about DAWs originally created on the Unix platform, right? And it is a proprietary database. This is not a commercial database. It's a proprietary object-oriented database. Uh, if you don't know what DOOR stands for, it is an acronym. It stands for Dynamic Object-Oriented Requirement System. And DOORS came into uh, uh, North America as version 2.0 by a company called Zycad. And it, it started to become popular, and s some people in the company had more vision than others. And uh, QSS was uh, born um, and grew doors to be this incredible uh, machine that uh, military and uh, federal related companies found that, uh, that it was worth using a tool like this because it was very regimented and uh, uh, organized their way of creating requirements and uh, manipulating requirements and showing uh, relationship between requirements uh, uh, through this tool. 2000, or uh, the end of 1999-2000, QSS was purchased by Telelogic. Um, those of you with DOOR's history will uh, recognize the name. And Telelogic had a suite of tools um, at that time, but no requirements management tool. It was all change in configuration management and a little bit of modeling um, through uh, uh, some of the other tools. So when DOOR's came along, uh, now uh, QSS disappeared and Telelogic took over the tool and all the play pool that was with QSS is now working for Telelogic. And it grew even faster, right? DOORS was beating out all competitions, including Rational Requisite Pro from IBM at that point, right? And eventually, you know, after a few years, um, IBM decided that, uh, you know, this would be a good thing to do at this moment uh, is... Uh, you know, put doors in our portfolio plus some of the other tools that uh, Telelogic were offering at that time. So in June of 2008, um, IBM purchased Telelogic, and doors now has become uh, uh, IBM's flagship for system and software solutions required mismanagement. And IBM's taken it that one step further, right, which is implementing a, a new architecture that is going in the right direction what we've all been looking for for a long, long time. So even more enhancements are to come um, through IBM's uh, power uh, for uh, investing in uh, new technologies. So that's a little bit of the background. So let's look at the DOORS architecture. Basically, what DOORS, uh, the uh, version 